Hello YouTube, welcome everyone. First off, much thanks to the developers of 1C and Juju for letting me play early the new game mode Threshold. Some of you guys might have watched the dev streams about the new game mode on Friday and Saturday last week. So you probably know a lot of gimmicks about it. And I won't explain everything and every single detail about this game mode, but I will try to provide you as much natural information as possible. Because I'm not a PvP VE player, I am more of a PvP player only. And I usually don't play Frontline, nor Spec Ops or other PvE modes. I was extremely surprised actually how much fun this game mode can provide. Unfortunately, we weren't able to play in a full 4v4 lobby uh, because there weren't enough people testing the new game mode during our play session. So we had to set up a private server and it worked very well for my surprise. We set up a 2v2 match, choose the map, selected the rules and there we go. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Okay, looks like frontline. I think we're gonna start first with capturing zones. As in frontline, we are trying to capture the zones first. Um, I think the devs mentioned there are three zones on each side until you get reinforcements. Yes, reinforcements. In this game mode, for the first time, you are getting uh, AI-friendly reinforcements when you get all three zones captured on one side. We effectively captured two zones and right now we are capturing the third one. You probably noticed there is a blue and a red bar on top of the screen. You can see three small icons inside of it. It's your progression bar for the victory. And these three icons, they stand for buffs you are getting when reaching them. The first buff is Stamina. It stands for a stamina zone, which allows you to replenish your stamina inside your home base. The second one allows you to pick up a breaching charge or more like of a C4, which is needed to complete the objective. And then the third one allows you to replenish explosives. Speaking of special gear, which surprises me actually that they added this into this game mode. So, I'm probably gonna recommend everyone running explosive reduction here. Another interesting change here is compared to frontline, the zone progression doesn't reset when your teammate or you leave it. It only resets as soon as an opponent enters the zone, immediately, down to zero. It is quite unfair since it takes a long time to get the progress done, but I get the idea behind it. We've successfully uh, captured the zone, now you can see friendly AI spawning in. Be aware this AI is far stronger compared to the normal AI running around, but they don't attack the enemy base. All they do is hold the line on the third lane. You see that smoke right side on SPC? You can interact with it, get additional points for your team. But you can't interact a limited amount of times on it. You have to wait for the cooldown. The blue smoke is basically the cooldown. If you don't see the smoke, that means you can't interact with these. You probably have noticed I have an explosive charge on me. I'm gonna plant it on the enemy anti-air launcher. The goal in this game is destroying the enemy anti-air, getting the maximum amount of points, which is 5000, and winning the game.
Ah yes, the Juggernaut. An interesting character here in frontline. Usually he spawns as the last guy. But in this game mode he spawns frequently because he provides reduced bomb time. When you kill the Juggernaut and plant the bomb, your timer will reduce from 50 plus seconds down to 18 seconds, which is a lot. It means you can immediately explode down the air. Well, quite unlucky. Anyway, let's go! Finally, we can respawn. We are able to respawn. What I hated about Frontline is that we weren't able to respawn at all. So if you died, you died. You had to wait for your teammates to revive you or for the, your opponents to execute you. Then you were able to leave the game. And only then. And here, we are finally able to respawn. But don't be afraid of dying. You can see right now I have 60 seconds of respawn cooldown. It is shorter the earlier the game is. When you start the game, the cooldown for your respawn will be at 10 to 20 seconds. And the further the match gets, I think the highest I've got were 80 seconds. I'm not sure right now, honestly. But yeah, it is a really nice addition finally having a respawn possibility in a PvPvE mode. You can already see in a building the yellow intel. Yes, it works like frontline. There is intel all over the place on this map. You can gather it to get additional points and get faster to your goal. But be aware, these areas are usually crowded by stronger NPCs like officers, medics and others. Killing imported NPCs like officers, medics, grants you a temporary buff. You might remember these buffs from Onslaught when you played the defense rounds and the AI dropped all the crates with different buffs. Usually this entrance is closed. You can open it up by planting a breaching charge. There it is, the great crate to refill your special gear and ammunition. I'm actually surprised how they pulled off such a fun mobile experience game mode. I had my doubts about another PvP VE mode, honestly. I forgot to mention that everyone in your team is getting shielded for killing the Juggernaut as well. The second anti-air is about to explode. That means the air is free and we are able to shoot a rocket towards the enemy APC. Don't get me wrong, we don't actually shoot a rocket. But the goal here is destroy the two anti-airs, then the game is automatically won after reaching the maximum points mark. Or better said, threshold. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm still a rookie in this one, so please excuse me.